there are two action items that, uh, and two information items that will come before the committee this evening. And I would like to state that, of course, we do have a quorum. Uh, if I may proceed. The action items, uh, I'd like to ask for a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting of November 2nd, 2009. So moved. Thank you. Um, Interim Vice Chancellor Jordan will now introduce action items. Oh, I'm sorry. All <laughs> may I have a second, please? Second. <laughs> Thank you. All those in favor? All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, may I now ask Interim Vice Chancellor Jordan, uh, who will now introduce action item 1B, resolution <coughs> renaming the CUNY Leadership Academy in honor of Ernesto Malave, a CUNY Vice Chancellor for Budget and Finance. Thank you, Trustee Pasilli. Uh, we think that this resolution is appropriate given Ernesto Malave's distinct, uh, distinguished record of service to the City University of New York, his student leadership role while he was enrolled as a, a student at uh, Borough of Manhattan Community College, and his demonstrated long-term commitment uh, to encouraging student leadership. I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Jojo McManus, who is the executive director of the CUNY Leadership Academy, to come forward and tell us a little bit briefly about uh, the CUNY Leadership Academy. Jojo. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. Um, and I heard briefly, so I'll be I'll real brief. Thank you. Um, of course, we um, <coughs> see this as a great honor and a uh, huge responsibility to uh, live up to the to the Malave. Um, to give a quick overview of the academy and where we are in our process, of course, the goal um, is to um, to live up to the work uh, that was done and put into the CUNY master plan for it to become a center for academic and co-curricular leadership development work. Um, currently, we have three main areas. Um, of course, general leadership development. We work with all of the campuses, all the campus programs. Um, and we're developing our first course. Um, we, all, we work also in specific areas of advocacy and, and service. Um, so we have leadership through service program <coughs> called CUNY Corps um, and leadership through advocacy program, which we work closely with um, Senior Vice Chancellor Hershenson's office on, which is uh, called the CUNY Ambassadors Program. Um, we've started to develop our team really well, and I think we're doing good things. And many of you have participated in our some of our um, public events, um, and we're really proud of where we are and excited about uh, where we're going. Thank you, Jojo. So, Trustee Pasilli, we um, uh, really appreciate uh, the Student Affairs and Special um, Programs Committee uh, considering this resolution. Thank you. Um, I would now like to ask uh, for a motion to approve. I have a question. We, we, is it on the motion? We need to is approve the motion, get that on the to. floor, and then there can be questions on the motion from a procedural standpoint. Okay. All right, so motion. I have a second? A second. Okay. All right, Any so questions? Question. Um, I do support this. I think the Leadership Academy is great. <coughs> I think that naming it after him would be a definite honor, and he's a great man. But I do think that there should be some more leadership opportunities given to the elected representatives from each school or CUNY schools. I know from Queens College in particular, not one person has been asked from elected representatives to be in the program or asked to apply at least. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure from other schools it's the same thing. And I just don't know if we could fix that here or if that's an issue that has to be worked on. Yeah. But these are people that really do put in a lot of leadership efforts, and it's a great program, and I think that that needs to be addressed. Okay. Uh, I would say since we are voting on this motion, and uh, it is more important for the, uh, the establishment of the Leadership Academy to be renamed, but what you're referring to is policy issues or some type of uh, practice issues that are far different from what we're we're discussing here now, and that should be taken uh, off-site. Okay. And we will address that. I, think I assure important. you that we will. Um, mm -hmm. We can certainly have a conversation about 
uh, your, your issue, and we will take that up. Um, it is a, a, an issue of practice, as Trustee Pasilli said, one that we are happy to address. All right, so I motion to accept the naming of the leadership program. Very good. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Nays? So moved. I think uh, we have uh, some information items. We now call on Corey Provost. How are you doing? Um, the University Student Senate at its last session felt it necessary to also acknowledge um, Vice Chancellor Ernesto Malave for his dedication to USS, to this university, to the student um, population. So we decided to take our University Student Senate Merit Scholarship and appropriately rename it the Ernesto Malave Merit Scholarship. So going forward, um, students that do apply for this, it will, they, they know that what they, they have to live up to something. Um, and they, they passed with overwhelming support in the body. Let, thank you very much, okay. uh, Corey. Let, let the record show that uh, uh, Vice Chancellor uh, Malavi was a very dedicated mentor to all CUNY students. We, we certainly wouldn't want this to be named after him. We wish we, he was here. All right. I think also, and, and the record should indicate that this was rarely, uh, you don't always have the person who's in charge of finance and budget being as concerned, mm -hmm. you know, about student issues. And, and sometimes um, the students are not even mm -hmm. as aware of the advocacy and the role that he played, you know, to ensure that that the students were protected, you know, throughout uh, you know, our budget and also in the Senate. So I think that it's a, you know, it's a worthy tribute uh, to uh, to do this in his honor. I mean, he really cared. Uh, he was in the same shoes as many of you when he was a student leader, as, as many of you might know, uh, when he went to Manhattan Community College. And so those of us who uh, who have been uh, student leaders and who are now in different roles appreciate uh, the, the commitment and the sacrifice. So, so I think it's very appropriate. And thank you very much for ensuring uh, the continuation of the legacy, you know, because uh, it, it sets a role model also for, for all of us to continue uh, to express that high degree of caring. And so as you indicated, uh, the, uh, when, in, when students apply for this, then they should be reminded of it. And, and we probably want to make sure that we have some type of statements uh, so that way when individuals are applying for this they understand exactly who he was right. and, and what he stood for. Thank you. And now may I call on uh, Interim Vice Chancellor Jordan to give us an update on the recent events in student affairs. Thank you Trustee Pasilli. Uh, I'd like to uh, focus my uh, remarks at this point on one, one specific um, <coughs> Uh, issue that uh, has uh, provided a reason for um, pause and concern uh, and outreach um, across the university, uh, and that is the uh, recent earthquake in Haiti, uh, which has uh, affected a number of our students uh, in many different ways on many different levels. Uh, specifically, I'd like to share with you some of uh, the things that uh, the university and its campuses are doing to support um, students of Haitian ancestry and birth, including international students. They're uh, estimated to be uh, some 6,000 uh, students of Haitian ancestry and birth uh, who are enrolled in uh, degree-seeking programs across the university. Um, and we've tried to uh, reach out to uh, this population through uh, the campuses, through international student advisors, uh, but also through disaster relief coordinators on campuses as well uh, to assess their needs and to uh, provide uh, support. Uh, support in terms of uh, academic advisement, uh, uh, financial assistance and counseling, uh, trauma and grief counseling, uh, as well as immigration um, uh, counseling and support. Of the 6,000 or so um, 
degree-seeking students, uh, approximately um, 44 of them are international students, meaning they, these are students who are on F or J visas at this point. Um, and those individuals in particular have uh, uh, suffered tremendous hardship. I had the opportunity about a week ago to meet with uh, 23 of these students uh, who shared uh, the devastation of their loss, not only in terms of some family members, but in terms of resources as well. And so as a university, um, campuses uh, and college presidents uh, are focused on really trying to help these students uh, who have lost financial resources uh, stay in school uh, and try to assist them with um, financing their education. Uh, we've also identified and are working with uh, uh, the Institute for International Education that is uh, offering uh, tuition assistance uh, grants, small as they may be, about $2,000 per student. We are working with campuses to help them um, apply on behalf of students for these, um, these grants as well. Um, with the assistance of uh, uh, the Office of University Relations and the CUNY uh, Immigration and Citizenship Project, um, the university has also launched a, a series of workshops that will be taking place uh, around the city, uh, hopefully in each borough. Uh, that is sponsored by uh, the Immigration and uh, Citizenship <coughs> Project. The first of these events uh, took place uh, this past weekend on uh, Saturday at, uh, at Mega Evers, and by all accounts, it was uh, uh, a tremendous event, uh, well attended. Uh, these events are uh, focused really on helping individuals who, uh, for the most part, are undocumented uh, Haitian immigrants uh, to apply for temporary protection status uh, under uh, federal law. Um, and so we'll continue to work with our students, whatever they, their need, financial, academic, um, um, personal counseling, immigration, and so forth to, um, to support them in these difficult um, times. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> Vice Chancellor uh, Jordan. What I wanted to ask, uh, if I may, um, uh, when you say we're going to help them with financial um, funding of some sort, are we also going to help them with the application <coughs> fees? Well, the application fees for temporary protection They're status. very expensive. Yes. Uh, these, at this point, we don't have um, we don't have a, a mechanism to do this, but I know that uh, campuses, uh, college presidents, are working with their foundations to help students uh, with emergency um, loans and support. Um, and that might very well include um, support that will help cover um, the 300 um, or $400 that it, it will cost to process that application. Thank you. Are there any questions? Yes. Do we know how many students we have stuck down there? I had two that, were, that I know, are we, I suspect even more, mm -hmm. that we're trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. Two that were able to get me email mm -hmm. messages that right. were stuck in here. Do we know how many kids we have that are actually can't get out? We don't have, uh, we don't have that information at this point. Uh, we have tried uh, through um, outreach efforts based on the information that we have in SIMS uh, to try to connect with, uh, with those students. The individuals we've been able to connect with are those who are uh, still or were still here in the U.S. at, at that time. I know of um, at least two students who were in Haiti who were able to get out before the earthquake. I have two of my six yeah. students, one who got back yesterday and one who's on the way back. Yeah. I, I suspect there are more. They're reach, those kids are reaching out to figure out who else is still mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised that two of them managed to pick up email messages mm -hmm. that we sent them, but they were there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Do, do we have an effort to, what, what are we doing? Um, chance to find out about uh, the students that are there or, or, we, 
Are we asking um, either the presidents of the college or heads of, of certain departments or SEEK department or the counseling area about this? Because it seems like that, that's something that we should know. Right. Well, the, the disaster relief coordinators on each of the campuses has been, have been working with international student um, advisors and directors uh, to uh, try to identify students who are uh, not here at this point. Classes just started last Thursday, and so we're still um, assessing that situation and trying to get as much information as we can. But as soon as we do have more information, we will uh, certainly act on that. May I suggest it's not kids with green, uh, with um, international credentials. Both of my kids have green cards, mm. and they're American citizens, um, but mm. are rooted in Haiti mm. and went back right. for the Christmas holidays. Um, yeah. And I suspect you're going to find right. many who are in that status. So I think we have to reach out more broadly right. than the, just the um, international, right. international student population. Well, the I was surprised to, to find that there were, I mean, given the, where we are in Brooklyn and in our neighborhood, it makes mm -hmm. sense with the ge geography of it. But it was a whole bunch. Yeah. Yes. Well, a point well, well made. Uh, we were able to identify, as I said, approximately 6,000 students um, including international students who um, are of Haitian ancestry um, or birth, uh, who we've been reaching out to campus by campus uh, through uh, phone outreach and email efforts. Um, but information, the kind of information you're sharing at this point uh, hasn't um, quite reached me in terms of um, there being extraordinary numbers of students who are in that situation. I mean, it's extraordinary, but I was yeah. I was surprised that in a small program like mine to find a two. number that would force, you know, at least two. So. President we Perugy? Had a, we had a few students who reached out to us who were there. Yeah. Can I come back? I have no money. Uh, okay. Are there any other questions? <coughs> if none, um, may I ask for an adjournment? Some of them, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about some of the uh, economic Let's development corporations? Who the bill is for, uh, renamed the Because uh, I'm with Staten the Island. The, uh, the legislative Let bill. us know. We'll help. Yeah. Well, uh, um, the there's one in the legislature. Uh, um, rename it after Percy Sutton, the founder of uh, So it will be 